Right, we're here on Media Day with Western Michigan starting quarterback Tyler Van Tubergen. Tyler, this year you enter as the starter. First, you know, years where you were the backup. How have you approached the off season differently this year compared to previous years? Uh, try not to keep it too much different, uh, as opposed to you know how hard I'm working and the different things I'm working on. Uh, just the only the only little change I'd say is just trying to be more of a leader vocally. Uh, you know, I wasn't. I don't know if I was in that position really before. So you know, now I'm kind of the person I think that I can kind of throw in you know my opinions uh, when I feel it's needed, and uh, that's probably the one thing I've really tried to improve on this year. What has it been like playing for PJ Fleck so far? Uh, it's it's awesome. Uh, you can see how much energy, how much passion he has. Uh, how you know he he keeps it fresh, keeps it fun. Uh, but also, you know, I think we worked really hard too, harder than I've ever worked here before. Uh, so I, th I think it's really good. I'm really excited, and I'm, I'm gonna be happier for a different coach. What does row the boat mean to you? Uh, row the boat. Uh, just you know, you gotta. That's row the boat is just doing what doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, you know, the boat is. Um, the sacrifice of the program compasses the direction that's set, or is the energy, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, you have to be counting on the guy next to you to be rowing in the same direction just as hard as you are, uh, which translates really well in football. Every, everyone has their own assignment on a play, uh, and you know, if you're not, if you can't count on someone to do what they're supposed to do, you're not going to be successful. Uh, with Alex Carter getting uh, injured last year, you got some valuable game time experience. Talk about how that uh, game time experience last year is going to help you for this season. Yeah, I think it will definitely help me. Uh, one, just, you know, the ins and outs of the game, uh, time management, uh, you know, dealing with the officials and the play clocks and just the little stuff that, you know, you might got, not get to spend a lot of time on in practice. Uh, but then also, you know, how I react to different situations. I think I'd pretty comfortable in uh, different situations, you know, two-minute drills, stuff like that. And uh, also, I think other people are pretty comfortable with, you know, uh, they got to see me in some game action last year, and they got to see how I would react to uh, different pressure and stuff like that. So I think it helps them just as much as it helps me. Uh, being behind Alex for three years on the depth chart, what were you able to learn from him, and what did he teach you during his time uh, at Western Michigan? Yeah, well, I think one thing anyone who watched him play is just how hard he played and the passion that he had for the game. Uh, you know, I, I remember multiple times him taking on linebackers and defensive linemen and stuff like that, and you could just tell how much he cared and how hard he was going to play every snap. Uh, so if there's one thing that I would try to take from that, it's not necessarily taking on the D linemen, uh, but just the passion and the stuff that he has for the game. Uh, now as the starter, uh, you know, when, when you were the backup before, you were always challenging Alex to try and take over. Well, now you have a bunch of guys behind you that are trying to take over. Um, take over you know as the starter how do you work with the backup quarterbacks and is there any one of them that has really stood out and said hey you know what if I happen to go down with an injury is there anyone that you know you could see taking over and just filling in just you filling in for you uh, I don't think I could really point to one guy I think we've all you know been working really hard uh, this this offseason and now in, into camp uh, you know Cam Thomas freshman coming in he's he's been really really good the first couple first week of camp I guess and then uh, Zach Terrell and Zach Wynn too uh, you know I've been friends with them and you know we've been here together for a while so I think we all put in really good work we push each other uh, you know but it's always something that we can fall back on too. Out of all the new changes here you know, new field new paint job on the um, on the outside new jerseys new team room what has stood out to you the most what do you like the most out of all the new changes? Uh, it's hard to point to one thing. I guess the thing that's uh, most prominent and closest to me is just the field out here. Uh, you know, we're out here every day. Uh, it's it's a little cooler than it used to be, which is always nice. And I think it looks awesome, too. How excited are you for August 30th? Uh, very excited. Uh, you know, it's my, la my last go-around. This is my fifth year. Uh, so I can't wait to get started.